नमस्ते गुरु जी नमस्ते डॉक्टर सत्यनारायण जी यू आर वेलकम टू ओम शांति आश्रम थैंक यू सर व्हाट यू लर्न फ्रॉम द नेपोलियन द ग्रेट डॉक्टर सत्यनारायण वाज बोर्न इन द पुअरेस्ट फैमिली एंड दैट टू नेपोलियन द ग्रेट वाज बोर्न इन अ वेरी पुअर फैमिली हिज मदर वाज अ मेड सर्वेंट लाइक नेपोलियन हिज मदर वाज आल्सो मेड सर्वेंट नरेंद्र मोदी मदर वाज आल्सो मेड सर्वेंट दे ऑल लेडीज मदर्स ऑफ ग्रेट पीपल यूज्ड टू गो फ्रॉम डोर टू डोर एंड क्लीन द यूटेंसिल्स ब्रूम बेस्ट हाउसेस एंड ऑल So I was one of such men whose mother was a maid servant. She was working for others. <coughs> My father was a shepherd. He had some buffaloes and cows. Poor rest, family of Samastipur district, Rampur ke sopatte. My uncle got some enlightening wisdom. He could not study because he had no money. But he had established the biggest library you can find in Bihar. He picked up books on the streets. They are selling lot of books. Lot of people don't value books, and he made a library. So <coughs> he wanted me to become one of the great. So he used to tell lot of stories of the great people: Abraham Lincoln, Napoleon the Great, Julius Caesar, and what not. And I learned later on. Lives of great men all remind us. Lives of great men all remind us. Lives of great men all remind us. Lives of the great men. We can we, make our lives sublime. We can make our lives sublime. And departing leave behind us. And departing leave behind us. Footprints on the sands of time. Footprints in the sands of time. Napoleon was one such great man. So he used to tell the story how poor he was, how miserable he was, how ignored and rejected he was, but his mother used to inspire him and motivate him. So as he was not that much educated or anything else, so he joined the army, French army, and he became a cleaner. He was cleaning guns and all these, you know. So he was a Christian. So one Sunday morning, you know, the Christians go to the church for offering prayer or service. What you say? Then the general said, Napoleon, what are you doing? He said, time to go to the church and prayer and services. He told, please excuse me, my lord. I don't go to church. I go to the workplace. I have to fight battle tomorrow. I let me clean my guns and keep things ready and powder, arrange everything and plan everything. That attitude I learned. I never go to church. I never go to temple. I never go to mosque. I learned from Napoleon the Great. Work is worship. Tell me what is work is worship. Work is worship. And that attitude comes in the thought of mind. I think it is your mind which is the god. It is your pure mind which is the temple. It is your dedicated, committed, perseverant, persistence which is your real and real strength and might in life. I learned from the Bible: determination, your commitment, your courage. <laughs> I learned from the Bible. Never do the foolish thing which Narendra Modi does. Ram temple, Lord temple, hold temple. Foolish, foolish. Work is worship. Yes, yes, Vira, you are right. You are right. Yes, you are Napoleon. Thank you, Napo. Napo. Good one. Come on, come on, please. Okay. He is telling who has disturbed your peace of mind. Dad. No, no, nobody disturbed. Okay. So, doctor, doctor, learn this, and I teach all my audience: purify your mind, develop the sense of work very hard, have a definite goal in life, and ready to die. Let us learn from Caesar. I came, I saw, I conquered. I never postpone things. I do immediately then and there. I never postpone things. Okay. So one lesson what I learned from Napoleon: no church, no man, no must. Are these are taught by some people who were ordinary people, but these fools do not have brain to believe in themselves. They believe somebody else. They were just human, but they think they are God. They are something. They are power, external forces. They are nothing. I developed that sense of confidence and believe in myself. I'm nobody, viewers, but I'm everybody because I believe what I. I'm disciple of Buddha. He believe in truth, and truth is gravitation, which Newton discovered. Truth is that love all, respect all, care for all. I learned that. I never learned violence, fighting, war from Napoleon. Fool, idiot! Fighting has no meaning. It is idiotic. Putin fighting, Zelensky fighting, Hamas fighting, whole world is fighting. I don't like to learn foolish things from fools. Napoleon was fool. He was fighting. No fighting. Love only. Second lesson I learned: the word "impossible" is from the dictionary of fools. This man told, "It is your mental handicap. It is your mental lacuna that you believe that something cannot be done. 
If you believe you cannot do it, it cannot be done. Most of the time, Dr. Satyarani says it is difficult. You are saying, man, I tell you, it is difficult, it cannot be done. I am always telling you, reminding you, it can be done. But who is the doer? Depends on the character and the mental power of the doer. You cannot do that, so you say it cannot be done. But don't say that it cannot be done. My brothers have gone to the moon. My sisters are trying to go to their space. Kalpana is still in their space, Sangap, you know that? Everything is possible. I learned from Napoleon. I never say it cannot be done. I will say I am not interested to do this, but if I am interested, do or die. I will do it or die in that process. I have to work hard. I have to use my brain. My best friend is Columbus. Not Vasco de Gama. I mispronounced one day. Vasco de Gama also discovered your... India. India. That, uh, that, uh, Goa, Pandichiri. He Goa. discovered that. And Columbus. He thought that what the Christianity says, earth is flat. He said, no, earth is round. So he wanted sea route to India. Columbus. He told it can be done. And he searched and discovered America, you know, so and so forth. So everything is possible, I learned from Napoleon. Second Napoleon, I learned. When his army were trying to attack some other neighboring countries, there is a big hurdle called Alf, the mountain Alf. So the soldiers were fearful because it is frozen land. And if you want to tr cross that, you will freeze to death. He told, well, well, go. This is not Alf, this is on the hill. And he crossed that arms. And when he went to the other side, then the soldiers are asking, when the arms will come? So, hey, idiot fools, you have already crossed long back. You die! And say, nothing is there, then nothing is there. The mental weakness that said his arms, Sarpa and Chen and Jain and all climbed Mount Everest. It was impossible that time. They climbed. Probably they don't have oxygen cylinder also. So, sir, I learned from Nepal the Great. There is nothing difficult that you cannot do it in life. I tell you a small story of Napoleon the Great. See, there was a fierce fight going on in Europe for supremacy and hegemonistic attitude. So British and uh, French were fighting aggressively. So once he was going to attack enemy, then camouflage, the road was there which will lead to that place, battlefield. So the British did very clever thing. They made the road a serious pit which can really made everyone sink in that. So the front they made some layers of grasses and all. It looks quite good, only some grass, but he sends it. Napoleon always lead the battles. Always let, let the army, he was at the front. He sensed there is some mystery about it. He dig it and found that it was a trap. It was a death trap. Then what is it? He tell, well, how to fill this? He told, cut the horses, cut the soldiers and fill it. What he said? Cut the horses and cut the soldiers and fill it. He cut his half soldiers, he cut his half horses, fill it, and last, and smashed the enemy anyway. See, Satnarayan said, life is a gimmick game. Don't give too much value. Live a valiant life, courageous life, held high to the finish, and never be timid and coward and never surrender. There are a lot more story I can tell you about Napoleon, what I learned. But that is the conclusion, few points I told you. Thank you very much, Dr. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.